Fritz, let us see management of this heart cataract by the submarine chop technique. After making the incisions, an air bubble has been placed in the anterior chamber. Tripan blue dye is applied under the air bubble. Excess dye is washed out. This is a little bit of adrenaline. And then the excess tripan blue dye is washed out. And then 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber. It's a good idea in such cases to use this soft shell technique where you use a dispersive scholastic substance. Beneath that you use sodium hyaluronate. However, I have used only SPMC in this case. Now, capsulorexis is being done with the help of uh, uterator forceps. Size of this rexis is about 5.75 millimeter. That's a fairly round rexis. And see the hardness of the nucleus. It's rock hard. It's a white marble. And now, a little bit of hydrodissection is done. We can't see the fluid wave, we can see, just feel the elevation of the nucleus. So we tap the nucleus gently and mobilize the nucleus. Now the tip of the fake onidyle is exposed to about 1.75 millimeter. And then we're going to introduce the fake onidyle. This is a totally unedited recording, so you're going to have some ideal time. The fecunidyl goes in with its bevel down. And now some superficial lens matter is removed. Epinuclear matter. And we can see brown tinge. So this is a rock hard nucleus and we have to manage this. Now I turn the handpiece to make the bevel up. Now I bury the tip vertically just in front of the main wound. In this case I sculpt it on to two three times to go to deeper level. So this is a small pit. Now I go through the substance of the nucleus and travel through the substance and go towards the opposite equator. And I use the chopper to get a nice crack. I rotate the nucleus 180 degree, sculpt once or twice to go to deeper plane, hold on hemineucleus with vacuum and separate the other one. So we have got two heminuclei and this heminucleus is then held with vacuum and it is chopped into two large fragments. We come to the other heminucleus and chop it into two large fragments. And now we have to emulsify the pieces. I tilt the nucleus, go at the apex of each piece and start emulsifying. I sometimes break the piece into smaller pieces with the help of the chopper. So the four pieces becomes eight pieces or more during emulsification. And now I come to the other heminucleus, hold this, remove the epinucleus and take only the nucleus. Keep the epinucleus as a contact lens to protect the posterior capsule. 
I come to the final piece. trying to peel off the epinucleus and keeping the epinucleus at a distance and yes so the all the nuclear and this is the epinuclear material it's act, acted like a contact lens to protect the posterior capsule now with low vacuum and low flow and in a slow motion this epinucleus is removed. There's hardly any cortex in this case but there is some cortex on the left side that is at 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock inject some visco and then remove that cortex with the help of a 23 Gauss Simcoe cannula. Now hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens is done this yes and see the rexis is overlapping the cortex uh, overlapping the optic of the intraocular lens all around and this gives good centration and stability to the optic of the intraocular lens this is moxifloxacin The side port is closed by stromal hydration. And a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done. Integrity of all the wounds are checked. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.